वेलकम स्टूडेंट विथ न्यू टॉपिक सॉलिड ज्योमेट्री इन दैट सॉलिड ज्योमेट्री फर्स्ट यू सी द स्पियर If you want to do the solid geometry, especially the sphere, you have to remember only few things, basic things. What are these? First is the distance formula. That is the distance between two points P and Q. We can find by this formula P Q equal to under root of x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square plus z two minus z one whole square. Also, you have to remember plane. So, what is the equation of plane? The equation of plane. Is x plus b y plus c z plus d equal to zero? Where a b c d are any constants? Here a b c are the direction ratios of the normal to the plane. It means that if any plane, here is this plane, and this is the equation of this plane, then a normal means perpendicular line. Then direction ratios of these lines are a b c means coefficients of x y and z. Also, you remember equation of plane passing through the given point x one, y one, z one is nothing but a into x minus x one plus b into y minus y one plus c into z minus z one equal to zero, where a x plus b y plus c z plus d equal to that plane. It is very clear that equation of plane passing through the origin means constant term is absent there. Also, you remember very important thing that is the length of the perpendicular. The length of the perpendicular from the point P x one y one z one on the plane x plus b y plus c z plus d equal to zero is mod of a x one plus b y one plus c z one plus d upon under root of a square plus b square plus c square. It means that this x y z replaced by this point here in the equation and upon under root of a square plus b square plus c square. What is this? This is nothing but the length of the perpendicular. It means that this is the point P, x one, y one, z one, and draw perpendicular on this plane. So this is the equation of plane and draw this perpendicular. So this length is nothing but this. Also, you remember the angle between two planes. It means that if we know two equation of two planes, then the angle between them is nothing but a one a two plus b one b two plus c one c two. Upon under root of a one square plus b one square plus c one square into a two square plus b two square plus c two square. So what are these a one a two b one b two? So these are nothing but the coefficients of x y z. So here a one b one c one here and a two b two c two here. So a one into a two plus b one into b two plus c one into c two. Upon under root of a one square plus b one square plus c one square. Into under root of a two square plus b two square plus c two square. So actually, it depends on the two things. That is the angle between two lines. If we have the direction ratios of two lines, then we can find the angle between that two lines. And here, actually, this a one b one c one means what? These are the direction ratios of the normal to that plane. And we know angle between two plane is equal to the angle between their normals. Here is that note: angle between two planes is equal to the angle between their normals. Also, very important thing you have to remember that is the equation of line passing through the point x one, y one, z one, and having direction ratios a, b, c is x minus x one upon a equal to y minus y one upon b equal to z minus z one upon c. And we want to find a point on that particular line. Then how to find? Means set of the points you can say. That is on that particular line, so we can find by this that is equate to k, and we'll get this is find the value of x, y, z from this equation. So how a k plus x one, b k plus y one, c k plus z one. So it is a set of points on the particular line. So distance formula, equation of plane, then coefficient of x, y, z are the direction ratios of the normals. the length of the perpendicular angle between two planes that are the important things we have to remember before to start the sphere now what is the definition of sphere you know the definition of sphere is nothing but this is a definition of sphere the locus of a point which moves in a space such that it remains at a constant distance from a fixed point defines a spherical surface or a sphere and we know what is the center and this one so you can see the figure here here this This is the center, C, and this is the radius. 
without fail you have to remember general equation of this sphere what is it it is nothing but x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 ux plus 2 by plus 2 wz plus d equal to 0 and if we have a equation of sphere then you should know how to find center of that so in the equation of sphere you just find out what is the coefficient of x y z and that coefficient divided by minus 2 so i will get a center so divide by minus 2 divide by minus 2 divide by minus 2 i am getting center here minus u minus v minus w also you remember how to find radius of that sphere it is nothing but under root of square of this square of this square of this means once we have a center then taking a u square plus v square plus w square minus constant term so this is your radius of that sphere so here you should know what is the general equation of the sphere and once we have a general equation of sphere how to find radius and center of that sphere also if we have a center and radius of this sphere then how to find equation of sphere that is here if c a b c is the center and r is the radius then that equation of sphere is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z minus c whole square equal to r square it is known as center radius form of this sphere also you remember here the equation of sphere passing through the circle but before to that you should know one thing that is in a three dimension circle means it is a combination of sphere and plane it means that if any sphere suppose this is a sphere cut by the plane so i am getting one circle so what is this any circle is nothing but a combination of this plane and this sphere so that is why here equation of circle is always in the form of s and u s means sphere u means plane so here equation of sphere which passing through this whole circle is nothing but s plus lambda u equal to 0 so lambda is any unknown value equation of sphere passing through two sphere that is s1 and s2 are two sphere then the linear combination of this is nothing but a new sphere so equation of sphere passing through this two sphere is s1 plus lambda s2 equal to 0 also you remember orthogonal projection because sometimes there may be example on orthogonal projection and how to find orthogonal projection so orthogonal projection of an area equal to area into cos theta means first you find that area and into cos theta so what is this theta theta is the angle between the plane of area and the plane on which projection is taken for example this is this one and i want to take a projection of this like that so this area area you find area of this part first right and angle between this this surface and this area you find that is nothing but a theta here also you have to remember one more thing that is the orthogonal sphere two spheres are said to be orthogonal if the tangent planes at the point of contact of these two spheres are perpendicular to each other you can see the figure here like this and then condition of orthogonality means when we can say two spheres s1 and s2 are orthogonal to each other if it satisfy 2 u1 u2 plus 2 v1 v2 plus 2 w1 w2 equal to d1 plus d2 where s1 and s2 are given so you can see here in the equation of sphere what are the values of u1 v1 and w1 similarly u2 v2 and w2 so this is if it satisfy this condition then these two spheres are orthogonal to each other now consider one example on this sphere that is find the equation of sphere which is tangential to the plane 2x minus 2y minus z plus 16 equal to 0 at minus 3 4 2 and passing through the point minus 2 0 3 so note that especially in the sphere normally you will find the examples on sphere cut by the plane touches to the plane tangent to the plane so once you get the idea how to solve this or how to find the equation of sphere which touches or cut by the plane then you can solve each and every example of this another thing is that in solid geometry you remember there you try to imagine the things it means that if sphere what we required center radius plane distance from the center of that sphere to the plane then try to make a triangle or maybe the distance line 
then easily you can evaluate it. So, how? Let us see. So, you can see here one sphere. So, here the center of that sphere, it touches to the plane supposed to be at point P and that point is nothing but minus 3, 4, 2 and this sphere passing through one point that is a Q supposed to be minus 2, 0, 3. So, we want to find equation of sphere. So, what we can find here? So, I already said that try to join the lines and then you will get here CP is nothing but the line perpendicular to the plane. It means that CP is a normal to the plane and then it will be easy to find direction ratios of CP. Equation of this plane is 2x minus 2y minus z plus 16 equal to 0. So, find here equation of line. So, equation of CP, line CP which passing through, so known point, which point that is a P minus 3, 4, 2 and having direction ratios. So, which are the direction ratios of CP? Since CP is a normal to this plane, so 2 minus 2 and minus 1 are the direction ratios of CP. So, what is the equation of line passing through the point and having direction ratios we know. So, that is nothing but x minus of minus 3 means plus 3 upon 2 equal to y minus 4 upon minus 2 and z minus 2 upon minus 1 and that is equal to k. So, I can consider a point C, C means center of the sphere in the form of k. So, I am getting here any point that is a 2k minus 3. It means that find value of x by equating this 2, y and z. So, in the form of k, so I am getting minus 2k plus 4 and minus k plus 2. So, this is a center, but in the form of k. So, to find k, I want one more condition. So, we have c in the form of k and by one more condition, I can find that k and what is that condition? So, by figure, you observe that what is that condition? So, definitely here CQ is nothing but radius of sphere. Also, CP is nothing but the radius of sphere and that is why CP equal to CQ. Therefore, here CP equal to CQ and both are the radius of sphere. Note that when we want to find equation of any sphere, normally we require center and radius. So, by this I am getting center as well as radius by CP. But by condition C P equal to CQ, I can find value of K. So, by distance formula. So, find CP by distance formula, I can write here CP square equal to CQ square. So, I can write here CP whole square equal to CQ whole square and by distance formula now CP. So, 2K minus 3 this point and what is the first point that is a minus 3. So, minus 3 plus 3 whole square plus minus 2k plus 4 minus 4 whole square plus minus k plus 2 minus 2 whole square that is cp whole square and what about cq whole square it is nothing but 2k minus 3 minus minus 2 that is a plus 2 whole square plus minus 2k plus 4 minus 0 whole square plus minus k plus 2 minus 3 whole square so, simplify this. So, you will get here value of k. So, I am getting here 4k square plus 4k square plus k square equal to 2k minus 1 whole square plus minus 2k plus 4 whole square plus minus k minus 1 whole square. So, simplify. So, 4k square minus 4k plus 1 plus 4k square minus 16k plus 16 plus k square plus 2k plus 1 and left hand side 4k square plus 4k square plus k square. So, definitely this 4k square, 4k square and k square get cancelled and I am getting here 18k equal to 18 and this implies that k equal to 18 by 18 and that is equal to 1. So, I am getting here center C put value of K is 1. 
so k is 1 so i am getting here 2 minus 3 here i will put value of k so k is 1 so i am getting minus 1 k is 1 so 2 k is 1 so 1 and what about the radius you can consider any that is cp or cq it is nothing but under root of because here cp whole square we already have this thing it means that this value but it is cp square so what is the cp it is the under root of so 4k square plus 4k square plus k square it is nothing but cp whole square so under root of that it is nothing but 9k square so, so cp equal to under root of 9k square k is 1 so i am getting it is 3 so simply i am getting here 3 so radius equal to 3 and center is that so what is the equation of sphere so by center radius form I am getting x minus of minus 1 means plus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square plus z minus 1 whole square equal to r square means radius square 3 square. So, if we evaluate this or simplify this you will get the equation of sphere. So, I am getting x square plus y square plus z square plus 2x minus 4y minus 2z so, I am getting here minus 3 equal to 0, which is your required equation of this sphere.